close your eyes. Watch your breath. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Try to make sure that it's comfortable. You want to <clears throat> develop a place here that you can settle in and feel at ease. One of the Pali terms for meditation is Vihara Dhamma, which means a home for the mind. So you've got this body, and it's kind of like a house. And as you meditate, you're trying to make it into a home. You're trying to make it more comfortable. First, you clean out all the cobwebs. That's what the precepts are all for. All the dirt and all the other things that lie around in the mind. You, have, you learn how to examine things in the mind and see what kind of intentions are really worth going with and which are not. And you're trying to clean out all the ones that are harmful. That's like getting rid of the, the pests and other things in the house. And then you decorate it with good things, places where you feel comfortable, good furniture. That represents the practice of generosity, where when you give to other people, you develop the perfection of generosity inside your own mind. That makes the mind more spacious, makes a more comfortable place to be. And then you refine that with a meditation. You learn how to breathe in a way that you feel good being in your body. If you can't feel good in your body, you're going to be irritable, and then things are going to spark all kinds of unskillful reactions in you. Someone says something a little bit that doesn't fit what you'd like to hear. You can just tear their face off if you're really feeling ill at ease inside. So feeling at ease inside is not a selfish thing. When you've got a house, okay, you're not pestering other people. When you're feeling at ease, then you're not likely to be causing them any trouble. So try to get a sense of belonging in your own body, feeling good inside your own skin. And particularly feeling good with the breath, because the breath is the element of the body that you can adjust. You can't adjust your heart rate, heart rate directly, you can't adjust other things, but you can adjust the breath. So try to find a way that feels really good to breathe in, to breathe out, and stick with that. Allow it to soothe the body, and this way you've got a home inside. And then try to maintain this home. Make it a mobile home. It's not just for, for a while you're here with your eyes closed. Try to carry it with you as you go through the day, able to breathe in a way that feels good. Think of the breath energy suffusing throughout the body. And when you're coming from a good, comfortable place like this, your actions are much more likely to be skillful, to be well-considered, not just reactions, but actions that you thought things through. And you say, okay, this is the wise thing to do, and I see it's wise, and I'm up for doing whatever is required to do that, because the sense of resting the body also makes the mind strong. So you're able to carry through with what you know is what's right and wrong, what's skillful and what, what's not skillful. All too often we have that knowledge, but the mind is weak. It's been wearing itself down. So here is a way of building itself back up again, giving it a place to rest, giving it a place to gather its strength. So as you go through the day, you're carrying something good inside. And the influence of that goodness will spread out around you. So make sure that you've got this home well taken care of. Clean out all the cobwebs, clean out all the pests. Furnish the home well. And then you have something good you can take with you wherever you go. It's a mobile home that gives you a good foundation wherever you are. <laughs>